Before we start this video, I would like to let you know that if you want to hear this guitar in a full mix, we're talking mixed, post-processed, and of course mastered, then please go down to the link below to check out my full band cover of the Beatles classic And I Love Her. With that being said, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today I would like to show you this amazing 2011 Gretsch Electromatic G5 120. In this video, we're going to be talking specs. I will tell you how this guitar even got here. We will go through some tone demos and all that good stuff. But before we do that, if you haven't already, go down below and click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you know when a new video goes up. You should especially do this if you're on mobile because you will get a notification as soon as I hit publish. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so to quickly go over the story of how we even got this guitar, this is my dad's guitar, by the way. He bought this a few years ago from a store uh, formerly known as Ben Jacks. This store was a very popular guitar store in the Northwest Arkansas area. Um, in 2009, the owner, Ben, sadly passed away, and the store kept going even after his death. But it wasn't until 2014 when the store was bought out by a family and was renamed Sunrise Guitars. The store would move locations. Okay, so I put the guitar down for a second to look at the specs. I have them pulled up online, and the guitar has a Nashville body shape. Uh, the body has lambda maple sides pretty much everywhere on the back, the top, the sides. Uh, this guitar has a gloss urethane finish. In this case, a black urethane finish. This guitar has dual F holes. Uh, the guitar has a bound top and back. We are looking at 22 frets. The inlays on the fretboard are Neo Classic thumbnail inlays. The fretboard is a rosewood fretboard. The neck is made out of maple. We're looking at a 1.6875 nut width, which is about 43 millimeters. Uh, the scale length is 24.5, which is basically Gibson scale length. The neck binding is a bound fingerboard. For pickups, we have the Gretsch dual coil humbucking pickups, both bridge and neck. The toggle is your typical three position toggle. We have a master volume, a volume for neck and bridge, and a master tone. The hardware is chrome plated. The bridge is a rosewood based adjustomatic bridge. Uh, the bridge cover is a Bigsby licensed B60 vibrato tailpiece. Uh, this guitar has die cast tuners. The nut is made out of synthetic bone. The tremolo arm handle is a, a Bigsby signature flat handle. This guitar has Pearl Lloyd Gretsch and electromatic headstock inlays. This guitar has a silver plexi pit guard with the Gretsch logo painted in black. This guitar has knurled strap retainer knobs which basically means you can screw them on or off. This guitar, of course, has an adjustable truss rod and the knobs have the G arrow design. Okay, now that I told you the story of this guitar and I showed you the specs, let's go ahead and hear this guitar in a playing demo. So here 
are my final thoughts on this 2011 G5 120 from Gretsch Guitars. This guitar is awesome. For the price, it is awesome. I've heard, I've read from multiple sources and heard from multiple YouTube videos that this guitar was about either $750 or $1,000. Either way, that's not bad for a Gretsch. In clean tones, dirty tones, you can do rock, you can do rockabilly, you can do country, you can do anything on this guitar. It is just that good. But I will say, in the clean demos, I had to turn the master volume down just a smidge, not too much. We're talking maybe 2%. Other than that, if you want to get one of these, I recommend looking them up on like Reverb, trying to find some used ones. Uh, this is a very clean example, very clean, except there was a ding on the headstock, if I can get it in the shot. I have no idea where the ding came from. My dad doesn't even know where it came from. He knows about it, but he doesn't know where it came from. As of right now, we're, we're just calling it anonymous because I am definitely not responsible for that ding. I think it's been there when he bought it. But yeah, like I said, if you really want to get in on this, you should. You should find some used ones online. If you want something a little bit newer, they don't really do the 120s anymore, but they do the uh, G5 420s, and those are supposed to be really good. And you can get one now for like only $800. I hope you enjoyed this demo, this review. Um, I hope you enjoyed this whole video in general. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and drop a like down below and comment. Let me know what you thought. And of course, if you want to see future videos, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you know when a new video goes up. I will see you guys next time.